everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are looking at watercolour sets from two different places, from a small business and from AliExpress. Now, I know AliExpress is not really like a mainstream massive company, but I do think that they pull out like a lot of knockoff things and stuff like that. So I want to compare buying something from AliExpress and then something from a small business and seeing like the difference in quality and things like that. So this is from a small business, Artemis Paint Shops, and it comes in this beautiful like little bow and this really nice tin. And this is the watercolours that I got from AliExpress. The actual packaging doesn't look as nice as it did in the image when I first picked it out and I'm not sure if maybe this is like a knockoff of something that looks nicer it, from the actual product shop. I couldn't really find that out so I'm guessing that this is a knockoff but it might not be. It comes in this uh, like little baggie and then inside is like a set. I'm going to open up the Artemis Paint Studios first and then we'll get into this one. This is the small business one and we're just gonna check out like the packaging and everything first before we try them out so this is what it looks like it comes with this little slip and then it has this really nice like painted design um, and it comes in this little tin which is very nice and uh, yeah so it's quite interesting in that sense we're gonna open it up and it's very cute it has these different paints I will say that I've had this for a while and haven't opened it so maybe some things have come through like the color on this so it comes with the set of these different colors and it comes with a little pipette so you can make sure that they're nice and uh, wet when you want to apply the paint because i think they need to soak a little bit and then it comes with like this sheet where you can test them out and let's just like open a couple of these pans and see what the colors are like so this is the first pan and it's kind of got this sparkly tint to it so I think these are a bit sparkly which is super cute and then you can also like add more pans these have a magnetic bottom so they stick to the tin which is super cute I quite like that so you can always buy like more pans as well online at the shop and just add to your collection and add more and like make your own one here is like a magnetic kind of blue I like the look of that Let's just open them all up and see what they look like. Okay, these are all the colours and you can see some of them are a little bit cracked. But that's only because I think I've had these for a while and haven't used them. So if I had wet these, they wouldn't be that cracked. And I think like now when I wet them, they won't look that bad. Um, they all have like the name on the side, which is really cool as well like it just has a little label there so in case you forget what color is what I'm interested to see what these colors look like when we actually test them out because I have a feeling that they're gonna look quite different to what they look in the pan so that is the Artemis paint studio they're on Etsy I will link down in the description where I got each of these paints um, I will say it did take a while for these to arrive but I think only because at the time it was first when we went into lockdown and I think there was a whole issue with like posting stuff so I don't actually blame like the company and stuff. So these are the ones that I got from AliExpress. I will say that this took a long time to arrive as well. It probably took like a few, a couple of months and I also ordered it with a load of other things and half of those things didn't arrive and AliExpress still charged me and I think that this is a knockoff from an original painting. So. I'm not going to link the AliExpress uh, link in the description, I'm just going to try and find maybe the paints, the original ones and link them, if not, sorry, um, but I don't really feel good about like sharing AliExpress stuff, so I don't know, it, it, it's kind of like at your own discretion to shop from there. I haven't done it since I got these and I've never used these, so I just wanted to see like the difference between this and a small business, so let's see. It obviously comes with this cover which feels quite nice and the writing on the front looks a bit distorted. It looks a little bit nicer in the picture and it comes with this set so it says 36 colours, keep smiling, uh, keep smiling art of what? I don't know what that says. Keep smiling is the art of leering. Okay, right. It comes with this postcard and I think this is the company that it comes from keep smiling must be the company 
and it here are the pans of color they look very chalky but let's see you know maybe once we try them they won't be so bad it does come with a set of a pencil a brush and a watercolor brush and a sharpener um these do look very crappy <laughs> It comes with these watercolour papers which look quite nice though so that's kind of a nice thing it is a complete set so there is a bonus for that but you know I can't really compare because I haven't bought like a complete set from a small shop we're just gonna compare the paints um yeah so they do look a little bit chalky obviously you get more colours but are they better are they worse so we're gonna find out here is a little brush and it does say keep smiling again it's the art of leering and uh, it does feel kind of okay. Let's get into painting with these things. And uh, yeah, so these are the two comparisons. And obviously it looks like you get more bang for your buck for this big purchase that is all a complete set. But I think that in the end, these will be the winners, but let's see. First of all, I'm gonna use the little pipette to like water these. It's quite satisfying to do this. <laughs> These are the final results. I think that um, they look kind of good. Like the, the AliExpress one looks okay, but then when you kind of zoom in on it, you see how chalky it is and kind of um, how difficult it was to work with. They were okay, they did the job, and I think they're really good for like a beginner or somebody who just wants to try, test out something, um, not necessarily want to use them too much you know so um even that like i think a beginner might like appreciate a better quality of paint as you can see here this was the the homemade paints by artemis paints and i think they were really nice i think 
I did find it a little bit difficult to work with them in some sense because it took a while to dry but I think that's just because they're like homemade but as you can see they've got like a really nice um, shimmer to them and I think they look really good so as you can see the two comparisons there's no contest really obviously the small business wins out on this one I think even with price and everything involved if you want a quality paint and you know it's coming from someone that loves what they do then obviously you need to go with the small business route and I think it's really good to support small businesses so there you go I think these paints are really nice and I'm going to use them again these ones I might give to a niece or something and pass them on because I probably won't use them again I haven't really tested out the other things but I think it's kind of a nice set to give to a beginner so there we go thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe I really appreciate it really helps out the channel if you're interested I do have a patron down below also and I'd just like to thank my patrons they are Devon Ace Tobalum, Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thanks so much guys for your support, it means the world to me. Thank you, bye!